I'm Rebecca Martinez, everybody, and let's make some chocolate tahini bars. This recipe requires some ingredients you may or may not have in your kitchen, so it's good to know what you kind of need in advance. We're gonna need some weird things like pinto beans, but if you know me, you know I love to bake with beans. But start by adding some cashew butter, coconut butter, and five mutual dates to a high-speed blender, making sure that it becomes nice and ground and looks something like this. Now we're gonna add some old-fashioned oats, almond flour, ground cinnamon, and nutmeg, and pulse once again with a cup of oat flour, making sure that it forms like a nice cohesive crumb. You don't want it to be overly pulsed, it should have some sort of rustic feel to it. Now we're gonna remove about two cups worth. We're gonna set this aside because this will be the oat crumb topping on the bars and the remainder that is in the blender, we're gonna add just a little bit of water and make sure that it forms a stickier dough. This makes it super easy to place it into a baking tray. We're not gonna bake these, but of course we need them to be formed. So with a rubber spatula, make sure that everything is nice and moist and comes together. In a lined loaf tray, I feel like it works best in this sort of loaf pan. We're gonna take all of that second batch of the crust, the one that we put the water to, and pack it down really nice and firm. For the filling, we're gonna take one cup of pinto beans already cooked, in addition to a half cup of super runny tahini, AKA delicious liquid gold, as other food creators may call it. And using a microwave, you can also do this on a double boiler. I melted some vegan chocolate 30 seconds at a time, making sure to agitate it with a rubber spatula as everything gets nice and warm, making sure that everything melts really nicely and it's super smooth. Now in the blender, when you have your pinto beans and your tahini in there and your vegan chocolate is nicely melted, slowly add the chocolate little by little and start churning it, making sure that everything is nicely blended. You want those beans to be super smooth. You don't want any chunks. It almost looks like a paste. It's super good, trust me, on the bean edition. It's a really nice way to add sort of a pasty texture without adding any fat really, besides that that's included in tahini and chocolate. Pack it on top of the bottom crust and then add the oat topping from earlier that we set aside and just kind of pack it in a little bit with your fingers. Once it's nicely packed, we're gonna let it set in the refrigerator for four hours or ideally overnight, depending on how much time you have on your hands. Once it's set, pretty straightforward. You take it out of the pan, it should basically pop out. The parchment paper will make everything easy. Nothing will have stuck because it's also no bake. Take a sharp knife and cut pieces that are approximately one inch in width and that's basically the recipe, guys. These bars, although they have a healthy kick, they're super delicious. Even George liked them, and he's always a terribly hard sell. They also look stunning. They have an incredible center look with the chocolate in the middle. Super good. If you guys like this content, always be sure to subscribe. That's the best way to support me. And I'll see you next Friday for another video.